Okay, this is the videotape on how to bore out your Escalade wheels to fit your Nissan truck or other trucks that require a 4 inch hole or larger. Um, this is my first time. I'm not a professional. Uh, I don't really use wood tools for much anything. I actually had to borrow uh, the router to be able to do this and to buy the bit. Um, you could probably get away with using a smaller bit than a half inch uh, only because the reason on this wheel this is where you're going to grind the back side of it here uh, this line is from GM it doesn't it doesn't represent anything but that is actually a line that's on there it almost is a uh, line for where you want to cut um, the first thing I notice is that this rim has a lip on the outside as well um, the problem I found is, is when you're cutting and you're getting the depth that you need to make this fit this line right here becomes really really fine and makes it kind of hard to use the router on because you have to have a <clears throat> pilot line for the bearing to ride on which is there and you can see that small small spot between the bearing and the bit you know that uh is negative right there it tends to fall in that groove once you get cutting um, so the problem was is it was making it uneven so you have to go a little bit deeper which means that you're not riding on this three inch line anymore you're gonna be riding on this line which is about a quarter of an inch more all the way around so what that in turn means is when you get done cutting your wheel the hole is actually going to be a little bit bigger than four inches only because you had to ride this line instead of this line because of the space in the bearing for the router not a big deal it still goes on the lugs are lug centric instead of hub centric so you should have no problem as far as balancing and, and whatnot um, and I guess that's really it and I'm gonna go ahead and show you it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to uh, bore the wheel out um, you just one thing I can stress enough is time take your time be very slow that way if you do run into any problems it's not going to you know affect you you can probably make up for it if you have any problems I did have a router bearing go bad on the end of the bit and uh, almost chewed up the wheel but I caught it and saved it um, so it was no problem wheel came out clean the Home Depot refunded me the money for the bit and I got a different one um, so that's it and then I'm going to go ahead and now rat out the wheel okay uh, one other thing I use socks, but you can use gloves or whatever you want to use to keep your hands from getting aluminum all over them because it is quite messy. one wheel took about 10 minutes or so a little bit faster than the other ones I guess because I, this is my third one always wear safety glasses see clean finish yeah you might have some little stuff right around this lug area but if you go to a smaller router bit you're not going to have that because this is a little bit bigger than four inch I only stayed with that because that's the bit that I have bought from the beginning and it's done that simple and now these wheels will fit on any four inch bearing six lug truck Ready to go.